The Ford EcoSport brings a new, smart look to Ford's expanding SUV lineup, but importantly allows audience who we know love SUVs a compact vehicle that offers a raised seating position, interior space and overall flexibility, said Ford Australia President Graham Wickman, as quoted in a press release. That's why we've seen SUVs overtake passenger car sales in 2017, and we've responded to this with a broader range for Australians to choose from with a new Escape. More Everest models in the confirmation that we will launch the all-new Endura in 2018. Ford will continue to offer the naturally aspirated 1.5-liter four-cylinder engine in the Ecosport at entry level of the Ecosport Ambient. But now with a six-speed automatic transmission in lieu of the dual-clutch transmission of the superseded model, this engine delivers increased power 90 kW and torque 150 Nm and 8 kW and 10 Nm improvement, respectively. The official combined cycle fuel consumption figure for this powertrain is 6.9 L-100 km for the 1.0-liter turbo three-cylinder in the Ecosport trend and titanium models. The manual transmission has been dropped altogether and the flagship variant comes equipped with shift paddles. The automatic transmission, like the unit bolted to the 1.5-liter engine in the Ecosport Ambient, is an epicyclic type with torque converter not the dual-clutch transmission that has been problematical for Ford in Australia. Engine output is 92 kW and 170 Nm for an official fuel consumption figure of 6.7 L-100 km. Unfortunately, the Indian-built EcoSport continues in Australia with the spare wheel mounted on the tailgate, contrary to the images released this time a year ago in the lead-up to the La Motor Show. And unlike the Yuki Spec EcoSport, which has been on sale in Britain for two years now, Inside, the Ecosport boasts new seat designs, upmarket materials, and simplified controls in the center fascia. Ford has redesigned the center console too for added practicality, with two USB ports and a storage bin under the center armrest. In the rear, a new flip-and-fold system for the seats makes life easier freeing up more room for carrying larger payloads or resetting for the passenger carrying application. Ford claims that the system means an end to heavy lifting or awkward positioning. The introduction of standard SYNC 3 across the Ecosport range brings with it emergency assistance, plus Apple CarPlay and Android Auto for smartphone users, as well as digital radio DAB and mobile apps like the Spotify music streaming facility. Other features bundled with the infotainment system include voice activation and satellite navigation for mid-spec trend and upmarket titanium variants. The Ecosport Ambient makes do with a 6.5-inch infotainment display, but the trend in titanium grades migrate to a new. 8.0-inch color touchscreen that displays the output from the reverse parking camera that's new to the Ecosport, along with the cosmetic changes grille, fog light housings, rear bumper, and tail lights. The range-capping Ecosport Titanium now features LED daytime running lights. Ford has introduced three new colors to the Ecosport's palette Lightning Blue, Canyon Ridge, and Diamond White. The Ecosport Ambient is equipped as standard with 16-inch steel wheels, 7 airbags, Isofix child safety seat anchorage points, remote central locking and power windows. Added equipment for the Ecosport trend comprises 16-inch alloy wheels, front fog lights, leather-bound steering wheel, and rear armrest with cup holders. The Ecosport Titanium rolls on 17-inch alloys and features a power sunroof, leather-accented upholstery, climate control, keyless entry slash start electrochromatic mirror, and sliding armrest for the center console. Additionally, the flagship is also fitted with front parking sensors, blind spot information system, rear cross-traffic alert, auto headlights, and rain-sensing wipers.